I, I think more nuance has to be brought into financing. And I know we talked a bit about, I think it was Bank of America, um, you know, offering special mortgage products in visible minority um, rich communities. Um, but I even have this thing where like, it's so hard as a single person to buy a house. Like if you are crushing it as a single person, you might get approved for a mortgage of like 400 grand right now. Mm-hmm. Right? And you are competing for homes against couples mm-hmm. who, you know, maybe they're not doing as well as you, but maybe between the two of them, they can get approved for 600000 mm-hmm. That seems unfair. Mm-hmm. And so I think some nuance has to come into different amortizations for different people, uh, maybe even some rate manipulation based on location, like more nuance and that sort of things. And then you can um, perhaps better um, level the playing field in, in some of these situations. Interesting. So I, I'm just going to say mine. I don't, I'm not going to say I disagree, but I have, my thought would be like, I'm, my, well, I'm going to make one quick response to what you said. I think offering these nuanced or neat programs for financing is just going to force the price up even further. And I feel like you're that's what wrong. we've always yeah, done. I, th- I feel like that's yeah. what we've always done. Um, I think we've got to boil it back further. And kind of what Trump was on about is... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Midterms just happened. Trump just declared. And Neil, it took you... Oh, God. How many hours <laughs> since Trump declared? Three, maybe? Bring, wow. Bringing industry... Five hours? Okay. Bringing That's, industry... Thanks for the rest- restraint, Neil. Okay. All right. Bringing industry back into like our countries and doing it at a high level to give more stabilized employment and more stability to the pricing of everything. Because that's another big thing. Like you can't even simply just go buy a piece of land. Like people have been commenting, asking for the one dollar land that I talked about. Even if you go buy that, by the time you build your your house on there, you're still gonna yeah. be into it for four hundred grand. Yeah, it's crazy. There's no there's no way around it. And the people problem, like we're working on that. We're immig- we're having people immigrate like crazy. Unemployment's going up. But that's not just gonna make it free to build houses because people are like, well, you can offer even though there's no jobs, I'm not gonna take you twelve dollars an hour because I can't even pay my rent. Um, and so I'm just like, if we could produce lumber on a massive scale, if we could produce all the products that go into a home on a mass scale, uh, and they, the government put a focus on making sure, like they put out incentives to be like, yeah, if you open a lumber plant or if you open uh, a window plant or if you open a like copper mine, like there's some massive incentives to do that. It would give more stabilized employment as well as way cheaper material and products, which we can use to stabilize our own market. And then we can sell internationally to, well. to the remainder of the, of the, of the, burgeoning world which is like all these places like india and china that are like literally scrounging for materials but we have a thing that it starts at home right like we get it done here here's the problem though we spend all of our time saying how we oh we shouldn't cut down trees oh we shouldn't mine for stuff i didn't say that <laughs> i didn't say it either brother <laughs> um yeah no that that's interesting that that's a, a a much broader i thought you were talking about like how can we make it you know, uh, immediately, really quickly, make a change. Well, like yeah. you give some people some some opportunities in the housing market that maybe they don't have. You're talking about wide sweeping, uh, but I think a lot of what you're talking about is not just an economic and a production pivot. It's a um, mindset pivot as well, and totally. not just in a, like, oh, we should return to manufacturing and these industries that we kind of thought were dirty and and we didn't want our kids to go into. Not just that, but also, hey. Everything you just said talked about exploiting our natural resources. Totally, exploitation is a really like has a lot of negative connotations as a word, mm-hmm. um, but it's kind of what you do. Like you exploit opportunities, and and it's not necessarily a bad I think thing. Probably and, using like, the word utilization would sound better. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably. 